There is a liar that came from the States. I think his name is George Bluma or something. He's a liar. He's a liar. He came from the United States and he went to the Jobek church. And when he went to the Jobek church, he was preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching. The same message he was preaching in Jobek was the same message he preached in Jamaica, in a certain church in Jamaica. The same things that he spoke when he was in the Jobek church. He said, I, I was wearing my shoes and then I wore the shoes of the man of God and then he started prophesying, George Bloomer, are you a prophet? Ah, no shame. This is just for money. I want to question every person who's been associated with charlatans. I want to question them tonight. How do you associate yourself with prophets for sale and you claim that you're authentic? We need to talk. It's been a long time since things have been questioned. Things have been allowed to flow for a very long time without being questioned. Are you hearing this? For a long time, things have been allowed to flow and nobody is questioning them. Tonight, we, wa we, are, we want to question everything. There's a pastor from Nigeria, Ma Pastor Matthew Ashmolo. Pa pastor Matthew Ashmolo went to Johannesburg, to the resurrection pastor. He went there to that church and he endorsed him on the altar. But I know that the pastor is fake. And he spoke and he said, God spoke to him and God said to him that the pastor from Johannesburg, the resurrection pastor, is a true man of God. If we do not question some of these things, no one is going to question them. I begin to question the authenticity, uh, the authenticity of Pastor Matthew Ashmolo. How do you endorse a charlatan and claim that you are called by God? I know that it's, it, it, this is not about the gospel, but this is about money. Because the envelope was too nice. The man was busy doing damage control, inviting uh, American preachers, inviting preachers from the States. They even went to a point of lying that Tyler Perry was even, uh, uh, Tyler Perry is a fan of the message, do, do, is a fan of the man of God. Uh, sorry, this charlatan from Jobek. Do you know Tyler Perry? Oh no, Tyler Perry, they've even spoken to Alt Act. Even Tyler Perry uh, from the United States is actually saying, you cannot fool us. We are Africans, but you cannot come all the way from the States to come and fool Africans here. I'm telling you. Tonight we need to question. We have to question the authenticity. I'm talking, I'm talking about Pastor Matthew Ashmolo. He's a man that uh, 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 probably some people respect. Definitely not me. How do you stand on that altar and you begin to say, uh, he is a true man of God. Uh, even God spoke to me and God said that uh, 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 this one is a true man of God. He is called by God. He is really from Jehovah. God called him and then he began to prophesy. Oh, the Lord is going to lift you up. Lift you to where? Li How does God lift charlatans? How does God lift jackals? This is not a man of God. This is a false prophet. This is a false teacher. So we have to conclude and say Pastor Matthew Ashmolo is not a man of God but he's a false teacher. Because if you endorse birds of the same feather flock together. So everybody we have stood on that altar to proclaim and say uh, we have come to say this is a man of God. Uh, uh, uh. Listen, the, 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 the association of, of, of these uh, evil churches is very broad. It, it is an association that has got... Uh, Men of God, we have been in the ministry for a long time. And because their authenticity and rather their, their influence was dying and fading away, and then these charlatans rose up and they began to prophesy and they collected all the people. Now because those ones who went ahead, they were losing members. Now they want to associate even with these charlatans who are prophesying in the name of Jesus, yet they are not called by God. How do you associate with a charlatan and you still expect people to respect you? That, that, that's my question that I have. That is the question I have. That's the question that I have. Huh? Are you, are, you, are you getting what I'm saying? Another bishop also came from the States. Uh, the one who sings. What's his name? Huh? Uh, Bishop Paul Martin. Bishop Paul Martin was also there. And he's the one who said, uh, even Tyler Perry knows about you and put Tyler Perry watches your videos all the time. 
I mean, Tyler, let's say he watches. Tyler Perry is a movie guy. So I'm sure when Tyler Perry is watching, he's, he's, he's enjoying the movie. <laughs> Tyler Perry is a movie guy. So when he's watching, he's, you know, he's, when he's watching all those theatrics, you know. Elliot, right. Pamela, why? He's watching a movie. So he's not watching because uh, he's being blessed. He's, he's actually thinking of uh, 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 how can I also come up with a, with a skit like this. But these are skits. These are, these are <laughs> oh Jesus. All these bishops, they came all the way from the state. He came there, he stood on the altar. Now, oh Jesus. How do you say you are a pastor and you are a true teacher of the word of God? So, the, so we cannot just talk about false prophets and leave the false teachers out. Because right now, because the false prophets are in trouble, it is the false teachers who are coming to endorse the false prophets. That's the truth. Because the false teachers, are, the false prophets are, in, are, are now in trouble. False teachers are coming to endorse their own brothers. They know each other from their kingdom, which is the kingdom of the devil. They don't serve God, these people. Another one came again. I think his name is what? He's also a, a worshiper. He's a singer. Marvin Sepp. Marvin Sepp was also there. Let's talk about Marvin Sepp. <laughs> huh? let's talk about Marvin Sepp okay to, to the American guys I understand that to them is business they are not coming even to preach they are just coming to that, that is why they charge money when they are coming down are you there they are not coming to preach but they are coming to to work they work work they collect their money and they go back but what, what is it that has happened they have endorsed a charlatan these are things we have to talk about for the longest time, things have been messed up in the body of Christ in such a way that nobody is questioning these things. Birds of the same feather flock together. You cannot tell me that you hang around with thieves and you have never stolen in your life. It's a lie. Unless you are preaching to the thieves to come to Christ. But from the way that we are looking at it, the thieves are the ones with money. And you, the one who's hanging around with the thieves, you want the money from the thieves. So you definitely join the den of thieves. So let us question all these things. Let's question all these things. We cannot just uh, 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 watch uh, uh, things like that and leave them the way they are. So all those who are in the USA, who are in the United States of America, the gospel has been compromised in the USA. The gospel has been compromised even in the United States of America because false teachers are coming down to Africa even to come and be initiated into occults in Africa. There's a prophet uh, uh, from, uh, a false prophet rather, from, uh, 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 from America. I think his name is uh, Brian Khan. He traveled to Africa so many times. What was happening? He was being initiated into occults. And then he goes back to the States and then he begins to tell them, he's a false prophet. He's not from God. He's been initiated into, into the occult. Operating by occultic powers. Or operating under the occultic spirits. These are things we need to question. When we were kids, we used to believe everything. But as we were growing up and growing up, we started questioning things. <laughs> 